Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, where we show you a lot of interesting and useful things from Spain and Benidorm's town. Today we are on the famous Sunday market here in Benidorm. It's officially summer, so let's head down there and see how many nice offers they have for locals and for the visitors. Let's we go. start our video right near the famous Server Group Pueblo Benidorm Hotel, which is where the market is located, as I'm sure a lot of you know already. From here we have both um, compliments we have clothing shoes accessories souvenirs as well as plants and some typical spanish food right here on the market you also can get your hair braided right here on the very very entrance if you're interested in these type of things i know a lot of you are you can just come here and ask them to do so you don't need any kind of appointment for that at all also there are a lot of different places where you can get lovely souvenirs like these ones here for example they cost just three euros but there is a huge variety of those with different pictures typical spanish you have pictures with famous paintings as well or something typical as these red ones might be for example There is also a national leather shoes right here. It's 25 euros a pair, but it's traditional 100% leather. So it's really, really good quality and comfortable shoes as well. Just in case you want to buy something like this, this might be a good place to do so. The best thing about being in here right now in summer is this before in winter, all this was open so we did not have any kind of covering over our heads because it was not necessary it was not so warm you know the sun was not as aggressive but right now during summer time it's really really hot in here and if we want a lot of people come here on every single hour of the day and not have it empty like by 11 a.m what we need to do is put these type of roof coverings you know like kind of a closed terrace because it what it's what makes the shade here on the market and it basically it's what makes people to be able to walk here even without a sun hat you just walk normally and there is no absolutely no sun in there a lot of people are buying bags you know like a memory like a gift for themselves before they travel back to the other country or simply because people travel with a lot less luggage they are not bringing like huge luggages with them so they are just buying here some bags some clothing to use during their holidays and then just leave them in here there's some nice typical spanish costumes for children you know my daughter has one of these as well some more bags have sunglasses as well that do have a cover on them for the sun you know some of them are polarized so really really good deals you can find here on the market sun hats with Benny Dome on them these ones are quite cheap by the way it's three euros only that's a good deal definitely on the market you can find some good bargains and you can find some good discounts uh, you just need to make sure that you keep your bag safe. I've told it to you a lot of the times because I, for example, have my bag in front of me just in case, you know, you never know what might happen. And trust me, you don't need these type of issues in here. So make sure it's all safe. Then you have a lot of towels in here as well. Some of them are like branded saying Benidorm. There's a lot of sunshine like this. It's better. It says Sun Beach Benidorm as well. You have some typical natural um, natural fiber hats here, some toys for the children and obviously a lot of colorful, extremely colorful clothing in here. Just look at this, there's a lot of color to it. And there are a lot of synthetic but also natural materials in here with some good prices, I must say. Fans for all those of you who cannot deal very well who are not friends with extreme heat with hot temperatures you can buy a fan too i would recommend you to go to alejo alejo shop they have um, also quite cheap fans like you know hand fans you can just uh, have them in one hand just put them in your purse and uh, use it whenever you want to they're really really handy a really small size 
we have one of those as well because sometimes it just gets really hot to stay on the outside have some more toys for children some cars you have some puppets some hats um like different different things one euro oh this is nice these ones here the one with benny dom logo there is just one euro you have like a specific offer in here the other ones were three and that's with benny dom and it's just one euro so don't buy just the first one that you see you know just walk through the market check what they have because you might be surprised and you might get some really really good deals out of it some more bags by the way there is a cafeteria right here uh, like a bar more like bar type of place at the end of it we're going there right now in a few seconds look some more of these there are a lot of different ones one for three two for five these ones look they're just gorgeous they're for one euro look at that like you have a lot of options here it does not need to be expensive you know just to bring some spectacular memory with you or like a gift you know if you want to bring something memorable for um, one of your family members especially if it's a lady that loves these type of things you know just buy her one of those like it's 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 really really nice there's some more in here and there's some magnets as well magnets just for one euro fifty Look at this, there's a lot of them, like diff different types of them. One euro fifty with a Benny Dom sign, you have just like normal ones that say Spain, you know, like a lot, a lot of them. That one is with a Spain, like with a Sevillana. It's just lovely. Have picture ones as well. Benny Dom for the best teacher, for the best sister, you know, have like a lot of nice things and that you can purchase and it's just a tiny gift but you know but it makes it makes a difference when you come like with a lovely souvenir like this and it's actually really really cheap one euro for the fans for these ones and one euro fifty for the magnets you also have some things for the keys here by the way Oh, these ones right here and these ones are on sale one for one euro seven for five so you have a big family just get seven of those and it's just five euros you know it's not a lot definitely let's head and see the cafeteria it should be open right now i just love these designs look at this such a lovely things like teeny tiny fresh dresses for the summer it's just amazing by the way uh, right now even more than previously a lot of people uh, the owners you know that the sellers better to say they talk in english before you could um, you could see you know some of them that they are like well uh, i don't speak english you know but i try my best i just know like basic words or here you can also get some nice hair styles, crazy bun, you know, French twist. That's nice. One for six euros. And uh, before it was really, really difficult for them. But right now, I suppose they've earned more because they see that the tourism, you know, is coming back. They just need to have at least like basic English knowledge to be able to talk. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. For children, so fresh for the summer. That's beautiful. And they're just trying their best to learn and to be able to say at least something, you know, for the tourists to be able to get them to them and make a sale. There are some leather bags in here like this for the man. 10 euros small bags. lovely in here it's not as busy just yet because normal people are still having breakfast it's us who are on track already oh my god these doggies we've had about like 10 of them children love them I'm not sure why but children just love these 
Let's go and see if there's another braiding. I'm going to ask. Hola. Hola. ¿Cuánto cuesta hacer el pelo? Por el cabeza, un eh, bueno, pues es que es para mi canal, para decir a los turistas cuando vienen, para decirles los precios que tenéis. Por si quieren venir para hacer. Dime el pelo largo, si quieres así, toda la cabeza. ¿Tres pelo solo? Sí. 40. 40 más o menos. ¿Y cuánto tiempo tardas en hacerlo? Dos personas. Vale, vale, perfecto. Gracias. 20 euros, vale. Y siempre estás aquí en este sitio. Vale, domingo y miércoles. Vale, perfecto, gracias. So here you can make some braids. If it's half of the head, it's 20 euros. And if it's full head, like full, full braids, then that would be um, 40 euros. And it takes quite a long time. You must be here like for an hour. They can do two people simultaneously, they said, which is a good thing. There's some lovely paintings in here. So you can do simultaneously two people, I suppose, because it's her and some other person that will be helping out. Uh, so if it's coming like two children, if it's you and your child or just two people, they can do so without any kind of issue. Uh, and they're here always Sundays and Wednesdays, just so that you know. Uh, I usually always find them here on the market. Uh, there are some other places. Sometimes they are on the beach area but it's rare quite rare to find them there so um if you want to get your hair braided just come here to the market early morning there was no one you've seen it there is no queue and you can just get your hair done this is one of the other cafeterias here this is the downstairs one they have freshly pressed orange juice they have some chips potatoes drinks um, and ice creams as well ice creams just for one euro so it's quite cheap and then there is a second one that is this one right here this is called the cafeteria terrace they have like oh, there is a small one here as well but this one is really really small type of place but it's really nice because from here you can get the view towards the whole entire market you can get here it's called like this coffee bar it has some hamburgers snacks coffee things like this and from here you can observe all the entire marketplace which is quite big as you can see let's head down and I'll show you the prices for fruit veggies and in general for the food that we have right now because I know you are quite interested to see how much it costs in here right now after all the inflation to all the price rise that we are getting lately when you buy these type of things when you buy fruit vegetables in here you need to be careful because sometimes if you don't see a price on it um that's not good because you cannot control on how much it is you know you always need to ask i always recommend to ask for it just in case oh there's some nectarines already from the mountain how many oranges these are all local ones like national ones i must say from valencian community oranges oranges the most typical thing of all here in the region a bag is three euros like that bag like this three euros not a lot these ones are locals. Oh, they also do a freshly pressed juice in here, by the way. One liter. It's quite expensive, I must say, but it's freshly pressed. It's three euros fifty for one like gallon, for one like small um, piece of orange juice, like for one bottle. When you come here, if you want to buy like fresh fruit, obviously since you're on holidays, you can buy whatever you want to. But if you are living here, or if you will be spending quite a lot of money on the market always go to places where there's a lot of people because that means that the prices are really really economic and it's a good place to go if it's where locals are visiting that means that it's a really really place good place to go potatoes one euro 20 for kilo have some more places like this these are just typical you know places look i'm going to show you have orange juice sandwiches toast omelette you know baguettes Traditional Spanish chistorra, which is like a sausage uh, with uh, with paprika, 
quite a lot of salt, but it's like a typical thing in here. And you just sit down, you ask for what you want and they just uh, bring it to you. Have some sweets and typical nuts and Ramalo things from here. I see. So here we have some local and traditional types of nuts. I'm going to show you the prices more or less. It goes by weight, obviously, right here. For example, you have the most typical things, which are our lovely Spanish almonds. Have for four euros for one quarter, for example. You can get like a tiny portion or slightly bigger one and just get it as a snack for your stay bring it to the hotel or just grab something and head down to the beach and use it as a light snack where you are on the sunshine look at how lovely this is these are dried out fruit i think that's that's kiwi that's some kind of fruit there's pineapple orange oh that's kiwi look at this this is just gorgeous oh my god it's so tasty if you want things like this there is nothing more typical here in spain than buy dried fruit and nuts and walnuts and all these type of things in here on the market there's also natural honey in here there's some small bottles and like bigger ones and this is local ones this is product from spain 100 percent it's different types of honey uh, depending on what you want, there's eucalyptus one from Thousand Flowers, you know, uh, there is also some with rosemary from orange trees and from the forest. If you can bring something like this with you, it's really, really nice, will help you a lot in winter with the cold. That's in case if you have a big luggage that you travel back with. And here in front we have churros. This is the other most typical Spanish thing ever. Uh, you have churros and porras. Churros, they are, oh, I don't have any here. These are porras. They're like slightly thicker ones. It's the same batter basically, but they are really, really like thick ones like this. And you can get 12 and it's with sugar. They're saying it's with the sugar on top as well. You can get 12 for four euros, nine for three and six for two euros. So it depends on if you're a big family, just get 12 because you'll eat them definitely. A lot of the times it's served with the... Oh, these ones are churros. These are like tiny ones. I personally love these ones more. And my daughter as well, we always grab these when we head to the Sunday's market. And you can accompany it with chocolate. Usually they fill in either a small one like this or like a bigger cube and you just eat churros with chocolate which in spanish would be churros con chocolate or chocolate con churros and this is basically the most typical thing that you must try if you're coming here to benidorm or to spain to our area in general try these ones out and let me know what you think there are some flowers here as well there's some baby tomatoes look at this There are not only flowers, there are some plants and herbs here as well that you can purchase, but it's more like for locals. Or if you're staying for a long time at some of the touristic apartments, for example, you can get some nice plants for your terrace to feel yourself even more comfortable as if you would be at home. Really, really nice fresh flowers in here, some cactus as well. And on the market, they tend to be quite cheap as well. Prices are usually quite good. By the way, the uh, man that I was checking, uh, I've asked if I can film churros and he gave me a, a few of porras, like the thick churros, the big churros. <laughs> he gave me some of them because uh, he said like that's a present, you know, for you filming here because they know me already. I've been coming to this market like for a long time since pandemic hit and even before. And they're just really, really curious. They say, oh, I'm seeing your channel, like, hi. That's really, really nice. When you uh, when you see people that are so friendly, they're saying, oh, I watch your channel. They're just saying hi. Always say hi if you see me. I'm friendly, I'm not biting. I'll be happy to let get to know you. Some more fruit and veggies right here. And that's basically almost all the market. You get some more toys in here. And from here onwards, you have just more places with different, different things people are actually selling. In front of the market, you have the famous cafeteria slash bar, which is Victor. 
This is a place with really, really nice, authentic Spanish breakfast. They have tostada, they have like a coffee juice with a toast. They have like different, different things in here. Really, really cheap, I must say. So if you're coming to the market and then you just want to relax a little bit, this is the place you might consider going because it's really, really good to have a nice breakfast after shopping at our famous Sunday market here in Benidorm. This was the famous market here in Benidorm. Right now it's already summer and there is more and more people coming in here to find some souvenirs, just try some typical Spanish things or get some nice present for their relatives and loved ones once they come back to their home country. I hope you enjoyed watching today's walk and you got to see some typical things that you need to try when you visit this place. Thank you all for watching. I wish you a lovely day and greetings from the sunny Benidorm.